Hello everyone, Survival Tech here. Today we're going to be unboxing the Biofang UV5RE. This is supposed to be the newest radio from Biofang from the UV5R series. So let's get started. I have to tell you that 8-digit PDX has been giving me a hard time about being such a hater of the Biofang radios. But to be fair, any radio which enables uh, more people to get involved in amateur radio at a low price is a good thing. But let's see what's inside the box. We've got the instruction manual. We've got the main body of the UV5RE itself. We've got a lithium battery pack. We've got the belt clip. We have the antenna. We have a very basic headset. We have the charging dock. We have the mains adapter, European style. And finally, we have the lanyard. Well, let's take a closer look now at each of the pieces. We've got the drop-in charger. Looks pretty nice. We've got the antenna. We'll measure that later to make sure it's a dual band antenna and tell you the performance specs of it. The lanyard seems sturdy enough, but I would still suggest uh, getting yourself a better one. The radio is equipped with uh, very good uh, hard points for a lanyard. And now we get to take a look at the body of the UV5RE. It feels pretty good. I mean, uh, it's not metal, it's definitely plastic. But uh, I can't say anything bad about it right now. We'll see in time if it's uh, brittle or uh, how it works out, yeah? We have the lithium battery, and I haven't read the instructions, but let's see if this is like any other Chinese radio. It'll slip right on. What's about the antenna? We can go ahead and put the antenna on as well. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we'll measure that antenna later on and uh, make sure that it's uh, doing the job that it's supposed to do. The antenna seats very solidly in the antenna socket of the radio. Not bad at all. So we've got the radio mostly together and uh, I have to say that after um, unboxing it and uh, feeling it and things like that, for 30 bucks, you should absolutely buy one of these radios, even if you just use it as a backup radio uh, that's thrown in a backpack someplace. Now, I'm a die-hard customer of Kenwood, Yezu, and ICOM. Yezu for my QRP HF work, uh, Kenwood for my APRS, and ICOM for my Extreme VHF, UHF, and SHF comms. So does this radio compete with those manufacturers? Absolutely not. But what this radio does is it opens up the amateur radio world to a whole lot more people who either couldn't or weren't willing to spend enough money uh, to get started. Seriously, people, how can you go wrong with 30 bucks? Of course, if you start comparing this to one of the Yezus, the uh, VX5, VX6, and so on, uh, VX8, of course there's going to be huge uh, uh, comparison problems. But comparing these radios to, uh, to the main brand manufacturer radios would be like comparing a Lamborghini to a Land Rover uh, in a slalom course. It's just silly. My conclusion? For 30 bucks, buy this radio.
absolutely, you can't go wrong. Don't expect any of the extras you might find in other radios, and you'll be absolutely happy. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.